Okay, let's look at the given data set. X1, Y1, and T1. X1 is 69, Y1 73, T1 is 4. And X2, 54, Y2, 50. T2 is minus 4, and so on and so forth. Okay? This is the SPSS printout. Let's skip this part. And look at a very easy calculation, which summarizes the T bar, the average of T1 to T6, and the standard deviation of T. Okay? The D bar is D1 plus D2 up to D6 divided by 6, and this gives 1.5. And standard deviation of D is D1 minus D bar squared plus D2 minus D bar squared, add it all the way up to D6 minus D bar squared, and then divide it by 6 minus 1, because this is sample standard deviation. So we don't divide it by 6, we divide it by 5, okay? And you make the calculation and you find this number is 5.612. This two calculation outcome, we need to use it later.